Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So we are starting with a new course, uh, AWS Advanced Networking Speciality course, and this is the first video. And in this video, I'll be starting with the very basic, and I'm going to show you how you can resize your VPC. Uh, apart from this, I've covered everything in my uh, uh, everything related to VPC in my AWS Associate course. So if you want to know about the VPC basics, probably I probably I'll suggest you to just go and take that uh, course or just go through the VPC section of that. So you'll get to know the basics of the VPC, what exactly is VPC. So since this is an advanced course, I'm not going into the basics of VPC. I'll be directly starting with the advanced concept. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can resize a VPC. So as you can see, I'm in my AWS console. I'll go to my VPC. And if you remember, we had created an AWS SA exam VPC in our last course. So I'm going to use the same VPC and you can see the CIDR for this was 10.0.0.0 slash 16. So you would basically resize a VPC in the case when you supposedly created a very small VPC, suppose a slash 24 VPC, which had only 256 IPs and then somehow you ran out of IPs and then you want to resize it or increase the number of IPs. So you cannot disassociate the existing CIDR block and associate a big one. But what you can do is you can associate a new CIDR block to your VPC and extend it. So let's see how we can do it. So let's select our VPC, go to actions, and you can see the second column which says edit CIDR blocks. So I'm going to click that. And along with an IPv4, you can do an IPv6 CIDR or as well in the VPC. But in this video, I'm going to show you just the IPv4. So let's add IPv4. And suppose since my VPC CIDR was already too big, let's just do 10.1.0.0 slash 16. So I'm adding another CIDR of slash 16 with 10.1. And you can see the check mark over here. So let's just take this. And you can see it says associated. So let's just close it. Go back to our VPC console and let's just select our VPC. So you can see now that it says two CIDR blocks, IPv4 CIDRs, which are two now. So this is, you have extended your VPC. This is as simple as that. You have just extended your VPC. Now let's just go to route table and see what happened at the route table level. So we'll go to our main route table extend this go to routes and you can see AWS has automatically added a local route so all your instances in this CIDR will be able to communicate locally with all the other instances so this has been done automatically and forget about this since I have deleted the NAT gateway that's why it's it's showing black hole but you can look at this route this is the important one so this has come automatically so you don't need to make any changes you just need to extend your vpc cider and aws will take care of adding the routes the local route basically to your uh, route tables so this was a very short video i just wanted to show you how you can extend cider blocks uh, this comes in exam just mind so they will ask they'll not ask you the direct questions uh, regarding how you will extend your cider in a vpc but like AWS exam does, it gives you scenarios. So this will be asked, if not directly, it will be in some kind of scenarios. So you, I just wanted to let you know how you can do it. So probably I hope you like this video. So this is just the start, the basic, very basic. So I'll be covering a couple of more videos where I'll be showing very basic stuff, short videos, and then we'll go into the deep of AWS networking. So I hope you like this video. Please subscribe to the channel and Keep watching. Thank you.